too hot. I bet you are hot. You look like a hot mess right now. The Turklinator. I don't think I can do this. Let's go like that, man. White socks, green undies, and a peach shirt. That's pretty much all I got. <laughs> It's time for creek fishing feed. I just did. I just pulled a rob. I did. <laughs> I just, rob just rubbed off on me on there. I did the old. La, 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 la. That's crazy. We sound like a couple of turkeys out here. This is a continuation video from the last one that you saw. So <laughs> we're somewhere in the middle of Texas right now, and we found a stream body of water, and we're about to get wet and uh, find out what's down there. Hopefully something that's gonna bite our lures. This is my uh, smallmouth combo rod I was using up in Canada. Great little creek fishing rod too. This is the Phantom combo. And I got a bunch of little jig heads and assortment of different plastics and stuff. Rob's got a whole bunch of stuff in his backpack. So it should be I. Right. I can see where it was flowing. Oh, I'm talking, see that rock over there? I was standing on that rock in my video and the water was just flowing behind me fast. We look like a couple of middle-aged you know, midlife crisis men, you know, just getting our fly fishing game on. I don't think we, you know, we are. We forgot our, we forgot our cigars, <laughs> but uh, I literally have OSG's fly fishing vest on. Totally doesn't fit, but it's going to have to work for a day. Look at this water. Look at it. You know what else is good? Boom. These aren't waterproof. Clear water. These aren't waterproof. Either. What's not waterproof? Not Nope, they're already wet. Oh, ooh, that water's cold, man. Cold water. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. See the lateral line. He's right out He's right out in front. There he is. Slowly moving. Can't really see him now. Got him. Fish, dude. dude, that is a nice that fish. Is a nice fish right there. Look at that. Pretty bass. Oh man, look at that. Oh. oh he's trying to run. Look at that. Spot and stock. <laughs> Got him, baby. Look at that. Nice. Oh. Dude. That a boy. First one. <laughs> First one we saw. Too. That didn't take long at all. What do you think? What do you think? Dude, that's a pretty that's fish. That's a pretty fish. <sighs> pretty Dude, fish. What a great start to the day right there. That is a great start, that's my a friend. Great start, man. Dude, that's a really healthy, really pretty fish. That's a pretty fish. That's a good sign. Whoop, uh, not to fall back. Woo! Yeah. And he took off just fine. Dude, you excited? Boom. Here we go. Yeah, that's one really great thing about this cool water too. Oh no, it's cold. These, these fish will be fine. It's not like these other lakes that we fish that you put them back in the water and they're like, ah, so, yeah, jacuzzi I was water. The other day, I literally had to like, all right, come on, fish, let's go. You're good. You're back in the water. Going with this jig head first. Rob just caught that fish on what was it, like a wacky head or something, like a little flick shake head. Yeah, it's a flick. It's just a three sixteenths ounce jig head, a little Kitek swim bait on it. 16 pound fluoro to 15 pound braid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cast a long ways. Oh, oh gosh. Dude, yeah, you almost ate it. You gotta, you gotta get a weightless in there, bro. I, I think this is gonna be too fast for them. They ought to eat that Senko like it's a candy corn. I'm gonna put on the same crusty tube that I was throwing in Canada. They should be sitting in this little ditch waiting for crawfish and anything to be washed down when they go to the very deepest part of the hole oh yeah there it is oh yeah it's not gonna do it rob it's just moss moss city got him beautiful bath <laughs> dude that is a pretty dude that's a freaking big one bro that's a big old fish baby <laughs> oh, 
That's Here a beauty. You want me to get a pic, bro? Yeah, I'm gonna take a photo real quick. Yeah, I like I like down low. That's awesome. One, two. One, two. Dude, that's awesome. Good photo. Let's right. let him go. Let's get him back in here. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the second one. Oh, look, good luck. Good luck, Chunger's landing on me. Look at that beautiful clear water. Look at him. Look at him, really. Majestic. Look at that. You definitely can still see him. I don't even have a filter on. Look at him. He's got his face going right back upstream. Yeah, he's good. He's good to go. Good to go. Oxygenated. Oh, nice, here you go, bro. So much, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it feels good just standing in the water over here instead of just taking being miserable. I'm gonna put a uh, little wacky on. Super wacky, light, finesse style. Who can resist? Came out pretty good. All right, we're gonna go wacky style. I can't throw this nearly as far. I mean, worst case scenario, if the gate's open, like that's a bad place because you can't really go upward, right? This is also bad though because you can't get back to the other side from here. Hey, don't worry, buddy. I... Wow, that's a small one. I'm just gonna clear these out of the way for you. So far away, Rob, it's so small, Rob can't even see it. Man, this almost makes me wish I had a fly rod with me right now. He's not a giant, but I saw him, oh my gosh, I saw him eat it. That's always a fun bite when you see him come up and eat it. Now we just need to upgrade. Upgrade a little bit. Oh, fish. Little guy. Woo! Thumped it with anger though. Man, that's fun. This is like some of the simplest form of fishing right here. Just literally a hook, a worm stuck on there. And just a, just a man and his bare necessities, a couple of GoPros, maybe a bow, funny hat, and get after it. This algae feels like uh, i got slime snakes crawling on my shins. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Weightless is key. All these little stringy pieces of algae, not good on the old bottom dweller lures. Crankbait, not a chance. Zero chance with a crankbait. Weightless plastics are imperative. Really just gotta watch your line with the weightless bait. You can't see the fish, you'll just see your line just, just tick. And it'll start moving off. And if you're using like a finesse worm hook, you just kinda wanna pull into them that exposed hook you don't have to set it too hard we should do like a fly fishing competition since we both don't know what the hell we're doing uh, you got any idea when the generator's gonna go again? i did it go today already i said it's three o'clock last night uh um, oh hey where do you go to check that i guess he's looking like whitewater raft or something whitewater yakking these are just those moments where you you're walking on the shoreline in the middle of the day with your water water all up in your boots just wondering what you're doing with your life. You kind of look like Turok the dinosaur hunter right there, Rob. Yeah. Turok, yeah, do you remember that? Oh my god. Dude, okay, let us know in the comments if you guys have ever played Turok the dinosaur hunter. That was like one of my favorite games growing up. Yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, Turok. You used to run yeah, bro. Laps, yeah, you remember the exploding arrows? Yeah, that's what I was thinking in my head. Which yes. It was a crossbow or something, right? Dude. No, 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 it was an actual bow. It was an actual recurve, wasn't it? You should be, uh, she should be Turok for Halloween. There's a, there's, there's a, uh, a bass that just swam towards the bait. I got him. You have him? I do. Could call Robert. That was actually kind of a big call. Hello. Hey. You get a good sized bass. This is the, this is my PB of the day right here. Is it? Oh yeah. Oh dude, that's another one that smells weird. All right, buddy. Love the fight. Woo! There he goes. I want to show you guys something cool. This hook that I've been throwing. First time using it. This is the trapper tackle hook. It's got like a little notch in it. You just take the- Look at all the gizzards coming at you. Take the worm. Gizzard chatter coming in? 
you just take that little notch in that hook stick it in there just like that and uh, supposedly that notch will hold the fish on i haven't lost fish on it yet but uh as soon as that big one gets on them i'm sure it'll be tested you know what i think it's clay it's it's like yeah blue clay i really do think it's I think it's just magic. I think unicorns come down here and drink it. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. All right, so if you guys watched any of uh, Rob's videos, um, you already know that that sound means it's time to move, time to boogie. Luckily, our timing's awesome. Because we were walking back. Let's keep that in mind. Every 12 hours, maybe? That's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm oh, thinking. Lost you, shoe. I didn't catch that many fish, but um, I'm certainly not gonna sit here and try while the raging rapids are coming out. What about those guys that are down there, bro? Dude. We're gonna we're gonna drone this up for you guys so you can see the the show here. I'm proud of our timing and our intuition. The fish were telling us it was time to go. This has still been a pretty awesome experience, dude. Can I can I stand here like a gauge? Just put marker me up. I actually want you to. <laughs> See how long I last? Like, marker me up. Before you go ripping down. <laughs> yeah. Well, as you can see here, fishing freaks, we have a nice gush coming out at 400 cubits per second. I totally just made that up, but it does look like a gusher, doesn't it? Look at this National Geographic grade footage. Now, here. It's basically just like a bathtub. It's coming out of that hole there at the bottom. The big gates over here, they're not opened up. Now here's the best spot we were fishing at. I hope that father and son team we saw there was prepared for this moment. Right here is the uh, spot where Peric uh, apparently uh, almost died. And then uh, right over here is where, uh, it's where Lunkers caught those two nice fish. It doesn't look as epic as we thought it did. No, no it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to take OSG's jacket off, head back home to her in Winston. The dam water's not as dramatic as I was thinking it was gonna be, guys. Uh, thought it was gonna be crazy. Instead, it was actually quite nice. It was a girl that just walked down here and she was sitting in the water and, you know, it's, we, uh, we pretty much got out of there like, like a bunch of little cowards. We had a good day. That's, I like that look. Really good. I'm gonna leave you like that, okay? That's how I want to remember you while I'm going home. <laughs> just tranching off in your boots and your, your hat and your shoes falling out of your truck. So good. So good. Everybody say bye to Lunkers. Bye bye. Avocado. Medium firmness. Serrano pepper. Very hot. At this point, you may be asking yourself, LFG, why are you showing me an avocado and a serrano pepper? No, it's not to compare the size of the fish I caught today to vegetables or fruits. It's because when OSG texts you a list of ingredients because she's going to make her world famous guacamole, you don't just walk to the store. You run to the store and you get those ingredients. These are important life lessons for you aspiring fishing freaks that want to be married one day. After a long day of fishing, and your wife offers to make you some food, you go to the store. Whoa, hey there, boy. Hey, hey there, boy. Oh, he can get it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got what you requested. All right, we got some avocados. <laughs> More than avocados. I got the peppers, I got the bananas. I went the extra mile because I'm a good hubby. I got hubby points. You get hubby points. Oh. Yes, I did. And I get to, oh, I'm sorry. And I get to enjoy the world famous guacamole. Winston, are you so pumped right now? Yes, get your rabbit and run, my friend. Run with your rabbit. You're excited to see me, I know. We have a little bunny living in our backyard. What? We have a real life bunny. Oh, what? What? He just ran over there and got a fox. <laughs> There's a family of bunnies. There's a family. So I was Let's... watering the plants and then one like ran out. And I was like, oh my gosh, this little bunny. It's like Let's see where they are. this little. Just sitting there. Yeah. It's so I... cute. This is the tiniest rabbit I've ever seen. Oh, you can hear it. You can hear it breathing. Oh my goodness. Wow. 
It's so hot though. I know. I felt bad because I was I watering. Know. He's like, he's like getting in the shade. Yeah, there's no shade. Is it, what do you feed a little baby rabbit? A carrot. No, I don't. Th I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's a stereotype. <laughs> I don't know nutrition for rabbits. You don't know nutrition for rabbits? Let us know in the comments, guys. We have a baby rabbit living in our backyard now. So, <gasps> no. cardinals are coming in. <laughs> birds are. We got we got predator birds. What should we feed this baby rabbit? Are there any there's ag no, fishing freaks no out there, there that can tell us? There's another one in there. No. What? I don't want to like disturb them no, too much. because if we disturb them, then they're gonna run away. Yeah, we, we want to we want to keep these rabbits around. Rabbits are cute. I just hope Winston doesn't get after him because he literally one of his toys is a rabbit. a rabbit. He might confuse it. <laughs> he might be confused and grab the the real rabbit. <laughs> oh man, little bud, you have no idea what's out there. Do rabbits just, like have nests? Because what if they're like nesting? They I, they do. Yeah, they burrow underground. Because that must be. So they're burrowing in my plants. I was one of those kids that couldn't resist touching the baby birds, <laughs> even though your teacher and your mom tells you, don't touch the baby birds, you're gonna kill them. The mom flies away. And it's true, you kill them, so don't touch them. Did you ever tell them about our, um, our little baby? What were they, the baby birds? They were cute for about five minutes and then they all died. They didn't all die, okay, half of them died. It was kind of sad. We don't need to show those tragedies. We're trying to stay positive, filled with life here. Hit the like button and maybe the rabbits will live. Maybe. If not, they'll die. Aww. This is turning into a cooking channel. <laughs> we're, ha we're having white bass fish tacos if I'm not, I wasn't really planning on showing you guys the fish. It was just, the, uh, the avocados were essential because I got a text saying we need avocados and I was just, I was there. I was there for you. <laughs> Thank you. Air fives. Winston, I got your favorite. I got you some salmon skins. Now some of you fish freaks were disappointed because I didn't actually show me feeding Winston the other day. We had our fish fry. Really his his absolute total favorite. See, he's already sitting and he's, he's trying to shake right now. Salmon skins is his favorite. Something about the smell, something about the texture. You like it, don't you, boy? You like it, don't you, boy? Now you gotta kinda eat this out of my hand because, yeah, tear it apart a little bit. You don't really have any teeth, so I gotta help you. You're getting old. If you've never had a bulldog eat out of your hand. It's there's really something special about it. It's just something about they, about the way their jowls go around there. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put it in your food. I forgot to mix it in. Healthy and delicious. I'm sorry. Was that clean? That was clean. I apologize. <laughs> I just got salmon. Here. I got redneck glitter in there. <laughs> that looks amazing. Close it out with an amazing taste test. It was a great time fishing in the creek today. Old Lunkers, that was a cool experience. Thinking about going back there, or we're thinking about going back there and doing some fly fishing. I need to know from you guys in the comments, what do I need for a fly rod for bass? I need like length and action. And I'm gonna go get me a, get me a fly rod. So I need your help, let me know in the comments. And make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because it's 184% proven that it makes you a happier and better person. Every time. Every time. Every time. That, that is the best guac oh. <laughs> on the entire planet. I don't care where you are. Try this guac right now. I wish you could. I, oh, just do it the best, baby. Thanks. You do it the best. It's my favorite. I hate it when that happens, too. Don't you hate it when that happens. You go in there for the perfect dip and then boom! It'll hold fired. up every time. You're fired. You're fired. You gotta get a new chip to go in there and reclaim your old chip so you don't interrupt the next person's dip. Yeah, for those who are wondering about the fungo, fungo got a little dangerous. Oh. Things got things got a little out of hand with the fungo. Can't do fungo inside the house. Um, it's a new rule. So we're just gonna have to close this one out with the old regular. See you guys later. Bye, inside the guac. Boom. That's <coughs> choked on that chip piece that broke. Don't forget to check back here every other day for new videos, and hopefully we'll have a rabbit update for you on the next one. We'll see you guys later. Bye.